Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games usually through a series of Let's Plays. In this episode, we will explore the gameplay of Democracy 4. Democracy 4 is a political sim that lets you choose the role of a world leader and govern a country. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Today, we're going to continue to explore our gameplay as Chancellor of Germany. When I hit that button, we will be entering our first term of our fourth year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. The GDP is down. Crime is up. Illegal immigration crisis. Illegal immigration has fallen and this situation now appears to be under control. Now, drought. The season's rains have not fallen and this country is suffering from an acute drought. Crops have failed. Water supplies dwindle and livestock and wildlife populations cannot be sustained with better information infrastructure, the severity of the situation could have been alleviated. Food price is up at 26%. Tourism is down at negative 21%. The farmers are unhappy at negative 26%. Polls report the government is not popular amongst its citizens. Only 40% of them intend to vote for you in the next election. Good news, the global economy is doing well and this is having a positive effect on our GDP. Cabinet report, the loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be adequate. Budget report, budget has a small surplus of 8.71 billion euro. This is tiny compared to overall government spending. Security briefing. The intelligence services report a growing concern about a relatively small extremist religious organization known as Angels of Heavenly Justice. We should keep a close eye on their activities. The Angels of Heavenly Justice threat assessment is a 3. The True Patriots threat assessment is a 2. We have adequate security effectiveness. We have 14 political capital to spend. Desalination plants. Desalination plants are a way to make water suitable for human consumption using seawater as input. Although expensive and energy intensive, it is a solution to water shortage where other methods to prevent the shortage have failed. Are insufficient or unpopular. This is 39% popular with the vote. We will implement a desalination plants. We are going to increase this slightly to combat our drought. We will apply the changes. We have a political capital to spend. Now that our illegal immigration has fallen off, we can lessen our border controls and reduce our government spending. We are going to spend more political capital to lower this. We will apply the changes. We have four political capital to spend. Compulsory water meters, the installation of water meters for every household and the subsequent charging for water based on consumption is one very effective method for reducing water usage and preventing a water shortage. Although it can be a long, slow process to install meters for every house in the country, this is 100% popular with the vote. We are going to spend one political capital to increase this. We will apply the changes. We have three political capital to spend. Agricultural subsidies. For strategic reasons, some governments are happy to pay subsidies to farmers to ensure the security of the nation's food supply. This goes against free market economics and can also be very expensive, but it does safeguard jobs and votes in the agricultural community. This is 12% popular with the vote. This will help to lower our food price. We are going to spend three political capital. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our first term of our fourth year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our second term of our fourth year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. The GDP is down. Policy reversal. Voters have noticed your reversal on position regarding border controls and this has affected their perception of your trustworthiness. Safeguard oil supplies. The urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. Representatives from oil companies based in our country have requested that the government deploy troops overseas at our oil refineries in the Middle East to protect them from attack by terrorists. The governments involved are happy for our troops to be stationed on their soil for this purpose. Send the troops. This is why we have a military and we should not be afraid to use it. Foreign terrorists need to understand that we are prepared to take determined action to safeguard our oil supplies. This is not a foreign invasion, merely the provision for extra security for vital parts of our industry that happen to be overseas. If we do not deploy troops, the oil supply will suffer. Do not deploy troops. It doesn't matter what our motivation is, the symbolism of our troops landing on foreign soil heavily armed and prepared to use deadly force is going to cause a major backlash in some countries. It is likely this will lead to both problems with international relations and the possibility of increased terrorism. Our troops are not security wing of oil companies. This is no job for them. Send in the troops. The Patriots are happy at plus 13%. The Liberals are unhappy at negative 19. Foreign relations go down at negative 14%. The capitalists are happy at plus 13%. Ethnic minorities 
Aries are unhappy at negative 16% and we are seen as a strong leader at plus 10%. Campaign speeches are available. The election draws near and you may want to take some time out of government to hold a rally and deliver a speech. Polls report the polls do not look good. Our last poll put us at 38% of the vote in an election. Election report our party, the new right, is getting more popular. Last quarter we added 581,775 new members and 89,503 new activists. Cabinet report the loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be fair. Economic forecasts, good news, the global economy is doing well and this is having a positive effect on our GDP. A budget report, we have a small budget deficit of 4.13 billion euro which we need to address at some stage. Security briefing, our intelligence services report serious concerns about the actions of extremist religious groups who go by the name of Angels of Heavenly Justice. There is a moderate threat of violent attacks from this group in the near future. We have 14 political capital to spend. We're going to give a speech to the wealthy, we are going to give a speech to the self-employed, and we will give a speech to the conservatives. The self-employed do not like the speech. The wealthy hate this speech. The conservatives dislike this speech. The self-employed views of us is up 5%. The trade unionist views of us is down 5%. The wealthy's view of us is up 10%. The poor's view of us is down at negative 15%. The conservative's view of us is up plus 5%. And the liberal's view of us is down at negative 5%. We have five political capital to spend. GDP, the gross domestic product of a country. This defines as the total market value of all goods and services produced within a nation in a year. This is a good general pre-purpose measure of strength of your economy and the nation's overall wealth. One of the contributing factors is the global economic cycle, which tends to be cyclical and is beyond your control. We have an uncompetitive economy. Uncompetitive economy, our workers lack of relative productivity and competitiveness is causing our exports to fall and flooding our country with cheap imports made overseas with lower wages, harder working and more technologically savvy employees. This is having a negative effect on our economy as our local companies cannot compete globally. Productivity, the average output in a financial terms of a typical citizen. Some nations have more productive employees than others due to such factors as work ethic, technological knowledge, and workplace hours. Workers on boards, unpopular with capitalists who fear that workers will basically vote themselves higher pay and shorter hours. Socialists and trade unions see this policy as ensuring a company works for its employees as well as its shareholders. This is 57% popular with the vote. We are gonna spend three political capital to lower this. We will apply the changes. We have two political capital to spend. Adult education subsidies. Adult education subsidies are a way to encourage people to retrain and continue their education after they've joined the workforce. This includes evening classes and distance learning resources. These schemes help to raise the overall education level of the workforce. This is 50% popular with the vote. This will increase the productivity of our workers. We will spend two political capital. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our second term of our fourth year year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering the third term of our fourth year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. Crime is down. There's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. For many years, certain pharma companies have been giving money and other favors to doctors who prescribe their drugs, even though sometimes these drugs are not needed, nor not the ideal choice. This has increased in recent months, and while no physical harm has been done so far, it is only a question of time till something bad happens. Take no action. This has been going on for many years and nothing happened. Clearly, there's no need to intervene and force regulations upon companies. After all, the pharma industry is a rich and influential business. If other companies think their product is better, they can do the same. Introduce regulations. This has to stop. The lives of patients are on the line. It is unacceptable that doctors prescribe medicines based on their own financial motivations rather than what the patient needs. Regulations will be put in place to prevent pharma companies influencing doctors in any financial way. We are taking no action. The capitalists are happy at plus five percent health is down at negative three percent the retired are unhappy at negative five percent and private health care is increased at plus eight percent campaign speeches are available the election draws near and you may want to take some time out from government to hold a rally and deliver a speech situation imminent our data is showing that we have a potentially bad situation prison overcrowding on our hands if we do not act soon polls report the government is not so popular amongst the citizens only 39 percent of them attend to vote for you in the next election election report the election is drawing near and we 
currently have 4,616,642 members in the new right. The opposition party has more members than us. The Family Values Party has 26,590,084 members. The Revolutionary Capitalists have 621,471 members. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as supportive. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be fair. Budget report. We currently have a minor budget deficit of 8.60 billion euro, but this is not a cause for major concern. Security briefing. The intelligence services report serious concerns about the actions of extremist religious groups who go by the name of Angels of Heavenly Justice. There is a moderate threat of violent attacks from this group in the near future. We are going to be giving a speech. We'll give a speech for the conservatives. We'll give a speech to the farmers. Conservatives are unhappy with this speech. The farmers are pretty happy with the speech. The Conservatives' views of us have gone up plus 10%. The Liberals' views of us have gone down at negative 5%. The Farmers' views of us have gone up plus 5%. We have four political capital to spend. The threat assessment of the Angels of Heavenly Justice has gone up to a 6. The True Patriots is sitting about a 2. Security services are an essential tool in the fight against organized crime and terrorism. Good, reliable intelligence can be difficult and expensive to obtain, and in many cases, the methods employed can be unpopular with Liberals and human rights advocates. This is 1% popular with the vote. We're going to spend two political capital to increase this. This will combat our internet crime and our organized crime. We will apply the changes. Prisoner tagging the high-tech alternative to incarceration that allows people to reintegrate with the community upon release from prison whilst allowing law enforcement authorities to keep a close eye on them. Liberals have concern that such system is a step towards a police state which monitors our every mood. This is 0% popular with the vote. We will spend two political capital as we have prison overcrowding. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our third term of our fourth year as Chancellor of Germany. We will now be entering the fourth term of our fourth year as Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. The GDP is down. Mass sentencing. Hundreds of prisoners have been sentenced in a single hearing violating international standards of fair trial. The facts of each individual's case cannot possibly have been properly considered during this travesty of justice. Credit rating downgraded. Major international National credit agencies have downgraded the status of your government debt. This is likely to have a knock-on effect on the GDP as foreign companies become wary of investing in our economy and it will also result in the interest rate we pay on our debt rising. There's a good chance that this will upset our capitalist voters too. You should take action to regain credibility with the ratings agencies by reducing the level of debt as soon as possible. Credit rating is now a double A. Capitalists are unhappy at negative 5%. The GDP is down at negative 3%. Business confidence is down at negative 15%. Manifesto promises available. The election is upon us and we might want to take the opportunity to improve our support by making manifesto promises to the electorate. Budget report. The government is currently running a budget deficit of 13.19 billion euro. We should take steps to reduce this. Campaign speech is available. The election draws near and you may want to take some time out from government to hold a campaign rally and deliver a speech. Election report. The election is drawing near. We currently have 4,873,500 and 26 members in the new right. The opposition party has more members than us. The Family Values Party has 23,658,756 members. The Revolutionary Capitalists have 265,828 members. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as supportive. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be fair. Polls report. People are indifferent to your government. We estimate getting 46% of the vote in an election. Let us give a speech. We have 14 political capital to spend. It looks like if we give a speech, we'll be losing a lot of votes. The parents happiness is 50%. We could do that and not worry about losing voters. If you look, if we gain two points with these people, we lose three with them. The speech seems to be going all right. The parents are very happy with this speech.
The capitalist views of us goes up 10%. The socialist views of us goes down negative 10%. The parents' views of us goes up 5%. The five political capital to spend. Judicial independence. The separation of powers is a model of governance that requires the state to be divided into independent branches of responsibility. The judiciary is made up of the nation's courts of laws, which is interpreted and applied the legislation of the country. Judicial independence is subverted if other branches of government or private interests are allowed to exert influence over the courts. This is 100% popular with the vote. We are going to spend five political capital to increase this to maximum. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend. And thus we are at the end of our fourth term of our fourth year as Chancellor of Germany. When I hit that button, we will be going into the election. Let's hit that button. We will now be going into the election for the next Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. Let us start the count. We have been re-elected as the Chancellor of Germany. We have a majority of 51% of the vote. The new right got 40.7% of the vote. The Family Values Party got 37% of the vote. The Revolutionary Capitalists got 0.7% of the vote. And 21.6% of the population of Germany did not vote. So we have been re-elected as the Chancellor of Germany. I am going to be ending the episode here. Thank you you so much for stopping by our cricket house if you like what you saw be sure to give it the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow our future episodes it really helps us out have a great week see you soon